Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Omoni Yabioye. Please, I want you to subscribe to this channel, Ogongo TV. We have a lot of fantastic content for you that you will enjoy, ranging from movies to shows like um, America Chiefs, Ilerawa, Fini Yorubanwi, Kingdom Stars, and I promise that all these content, you cannot just watch them without being blessed. I want you to subscribe. I want you to make comments on our channel. I want you to share them. I want you to like them. Thank you for doing that. God bless you. Ogongo TV. The League of Yeah. Come about this. After the pastor who came to greet you two days ago was leaving, mm -hmm. someone was asking him questions, and I hope I heard them saying that if anyone dies and no angel comes to welcome the person, definitely the person didn't go to heaven. But will be welcomed by de some demonic spirits to another destination. Hmm. So, how does that confirm your dad's destination? Mommy, remember I told you about the dream I had? Mm -hmm. That some people looking horrible and like Miss Krantz came to call daddy. And it took him away. I was still pondering on the dream. When you screamed and shouted, Oni, Oni. That makes me rush down to your room. And I met you in the room, crying beside his dead body. I couldn't remember the dream immediately because of the unfortunate incident. Mommy, can't you see something? Can't you read him between the lines? Angels did not carry daddy. Angels did not welcome daddy. Those horrible beings might have been demonic spirits. So what are you insinuating? With what the pastor told the people. And after going through the Bible references that further reinstated, I think that they miss heaven. You, this girl. Ah, ah. Which Bible passage? Luke 16, 19 to 25. Okay. Do you have the pastor's phone number? No, I don't. It's okay. Excuse me. How are you, madam? I'm fine. Kuoruyo. Kuoruyo, do you? Amen. How is your daughter, ma? She's doing fine, thank you. Oh, is she there with you? Uh, she's here with me. Please, let me speak with her. All right. My daughter, Bisola, the Lord shall Uphold and keep you. Amen. Please don't cry again. Wipe away your tears. 
And please, always stay by your mom. It is very, very important at this time. You dare a fall. Ami, is she, sir? By the way, um, please, do you know the phone number of the pastor I met in your house yesterday? No, I don't. Eh? Who knows him? And how did he get access into your family? Maybe through her uncle. Still trying to ascertain, though. It's alright. God be with you. Amen. But if you get through to him, please do not hesitate to let me know. Okay, sir. I hope there is no problem. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. No problem at all. Uh, I just wish to meet him and ask him some questions. Oh, okay, sir. That's all. God bless you. Thank you. So, how do you think we can get the pastor's number? Our neighbor too is asking for the same pastor's number. Ooh, Mr. Ladi. The welcome. The welcome. The welcome. The journey begins here. Sir. How are you, my daughter? Fine, sir. God, bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Is Bram Tumisha around? Oh, no, 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 he's not around. But we agreed to meet here. Oh. But my mom is around. Okay. Let me tell her you're around. Okay, no problem. Mommy! Yes, there. Guess who we have here? Who is that? The pastor is here. Which pastor? The one will be looking for how to get in contact with him. Wow, thank God. Thank Tell him that I'm coming, please. Oh, okay. That's all right. Okay. Having Jesus in your life, for the life of every day. At the point of death, angels will carry you. Lisa, my mom will be with you. Matter of fact, God bless you. My sister. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, just like that. See me, oh, look, I'm confused. Hmm. I feel bit too busy. I'm not sure I'm not busy. Eh? The Lord is good. All oh, the time, my sister. It is well, oh. Congratulations, I'm happy thank for you. Oh. Eh? How long you too busy? Hmm. No doubt. How long you too busy? If indeed, after the dream your daughter had was when your husband died, I'm sorry. Is this a good indication? That means my husband didn't go to heaven. Um, you cannot just jump to a conclusion like that, madam. On the day of resurrection, everything will be made known. Pastor, don't try to console me. In the Bible we read, in Luke 16, 19 to 25, that Lazarus died and angels carried him to the bosom of Abraham in heaven. And when my husband was dying, two creatures like demons came to welcome him in my daughter's dream. So what exactly are we talking about? But not everyone will believe you, ma'am. It's just a dream by your daughter. And don't forget, you are still money your husband. Pastor, I fear this girl's dream. Her dreams usually come to pass immediately. God has endowed her with the gift of revelation through dreams. Virtually all her dreams have come to pass in the family. But ma, using her dream as a yardstick to determine eternal destination needs to be cautioned. A lot of people will not believe you. They will argue the authenticity. Only God can determine that. Pastor, 
Pardon my, my, my language. Don't be cowardly. Coward? What do you mean? In the explanation and from the Bible references, that whoever is not received by the angels will receive no welcome at all or be welcomed by the demons. My daughter told me everything you revealed to the woman that asked you the question. Is that why you call me a coward? Yes. I can deduce that you are trying to console me by not being realistic with me. Not so, madam. Then simply tell me my husband went to hell and not to heaven. There are just two destinations. Oh, yes. You are right. There are just only two destinations. Now that you have concluded that your husband may be heading to eternal destruction. No, Pastor. It is very glaring that my husband has headed to eternal destruction in hell. I know my husband wasn't born again. He has compromised a lot and did not live a Christ-like life. He only goes to church, though he's good at giving alms, caring for others, and uh, the less privileged, but wasn't a dedicated Christian. Now, that his generosity couldn't guarantee his eternity, what then is assuring us? So, Pastor, kindly help us so that our case will not be like that rich man who had a lot of concern for his five brethren in hell. We want to hear you. We want to hear the word of God from you. We want to be saved. Just shouting, I have sinned, I have sinned. What sin have you committed? I am a gluten and I am covetous. Hmm. You just realized that? Yes, where I am supposed to practice abstinence and overlook some delicacies. Indiscipline and lack of self control urges me on. And now I am passing through a lot. <laughs> Lord, please forgive me. Forgive me. Now that you have known and you have confessed your sins, you will be forgiven. Do you know what is written in Exodus chapter 15 verse 26? And Exodus chapter 23 verse 25 and 26. Do you? Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. And Exodus chapter 23. Verses 25 and 26. I know it. I, I, I know it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Exodus chapter 15. Verse 26. Exodus, yes, yes. Chapter 23. Verse 25 and 26. Yes, I remember. Yes. <sighs> I heard it. I heard him, he spoke to me. <laughs> Exodus. Yes, I remember. Oh, thank you, Lord. I remember. If you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment, and keep all his statutes, then I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healed thee. Hallelujah. I, I had him. I had, yes. Exodus, yes. Exodus chapter 23, verses 25 and 26. Ah, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread, your, your land, and the water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. And there shall not cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Oh, 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 oh. Praise God. I am healed. He has sent his word. I am healed. 
I am free of diabetes. He has delivered me from his destruction. I am healed. <laughs> no more diabetes. Yeah? This is me. I am free. I am free, praise the Lord. I am healed. Thank you, Lord. I had it. No more diabetes. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thirteen years. Yes, sir. Thirteen years of impotence. God delivered just in one day. Ah, Pastor, I myself couldn't believe it. Sir, I want to say thank you. You can see my wife smiling. Since that day you prayed for us, ah, everything has changed. From that night, from the night of that day you prayed for us, sir. I want to say thank you. We can't even thank you enough. Don't thank me, my brother. Give thanks to God. It was God who did it. I did not even know there was an impotent man there. But the power of resurrection did the job. That was the power of resurrection at work. I did not even know an impotent man was among the people. But God, who knows you needed a miracle, reached you and touched you. It is not by merit, but by mercy. Not by merit, but by mercy. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> not by merit, but by mercy. Anuni, Anuno she, she anunerinye. Exactly, sir. Anuno she for Exactly why I have come. Sir, I am now ready to give my life to God. I'm ready to serve him all heartedly. I want to dedicate my life to the Lord who showed me mercy with this miracle. Sir, I want to dedicate my life in servitude to the Lord who showed me mercy. Who showed me mercy with this miracle in my life. Sir, I have money. We shall help in building this church. We shall surely help in making it a mega church. Change the settings, bringing instruments, bringing so many things. Sir, we are going to help you, sir. Thank God for that, sir. But you need to give your life to God first. Your life is far more important than whatever gift you want to give to God. Sir, we have determined to give our life unto God. Are you sure you are ready? Sir, we are ready. I and my wife, we are ready to serve the Lord. My brother. My brother, K. Pastor. I have to do my name. My name is Engineer Oladimichi Alagidi. I am an engineer by profession. Well, you can as well call me Engineer Ladi. I'm not a brother. I know, sir. I didn't forget. But in the church, we don't address ourselves by our title. Rather, we call ourselves brothers and sisters. Uh, okay, uh, that's, that's no problem regarding that. No problem at all. I only want you to know that I am an engineer, a pipeline engineer for that matter. And by qualification, PhD. Engineer Ladin. Sir. But I want to know that it's a miracle that I brought to Lord Jesus Christ. However, it is the death of Lord Jesus Christ that gives salvation, not miracle. It is the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary that gives forgiveness of sin. And it's your repentance from every sin in your life that gives you the new salvation. Are you now ready to believe and accept this? Sir, like I've told you before, we are ready. Sir, we are ready to receive forgiveness of sin through the blood of Jesus Christ. If that is the case, 
then let us pray. You have to lean down. You shall confess all your sins to God. And tell him what to start a new life. Tell him to forgive all your errors, all your sins and past mistakes. And ask for the blood to wash you clean. Smart. Smart. Not the nice after. This guy is not around. Okay. Smart! Tumiche! Smart! Hi. How are you? Okay, I'm fine. Oh, no, I'm not going. Oh. Smart! It's not good to always put on your lights and electronic gadget when you are not in. Why? What did you notice? I noticed that when I came in, your corridor light was on. I tried to switch it off. <laughs> Inside the house, your light, your fan, your TV, your AC, everything was switched on. Sometimes, there may be high currents, thereby leading to electric spark. This can lead to fire outbreak in the house, you know. Don't mind me, my brother. I'm fond of doing that. Maybe because I don't pay for those high consuming gadgets in the house. Anyway, who cares? I'll take to your advice and improve. High consuming gadget, you mean? Ah. Don't you know high consuming gadget like the the deep freezer, the air conditioner, and the electric cooker are power consuming? Tell me, how do you do it? Of oh, nobody, my brother. We bypass it. You bypass light? Yes, that's what people are doing, and they are still doing it. So, you are aware of that trick too? My brother. And it's your bola when go. Ah. That's not good enough. Do you know you are cheating the government? <laughs> cheating the government? You know when the government has been cheating us? I bet pack well in this country. <laughs> if government cheats you, why don't you leave government in God's hand? And don't take law into your own hands. Government will not admit of cheating you when you are caught. Due punishment and fine will be meted out to you. And then you will know that you have been ch changing yourself. You see, moreover, God is never happy to defend you for this shameless act of stealing and daylight robbery. You compare this to, to stealing and robbery? Tell me, what is it? Tell me, what is it? You better put an end to all this illegal connection of bypass and repent if truly you want to make a heaven. And God should not disown you. <laughs> disown by God? Just because of ordinary light? <laughs> yes, because of ordinary light. Why don't you do what is right? Pay for what you are using if you wish to make heaven without condemnation. To me, you have the infantry to talk to me like this. Don't you know that you are worse than I am? You know among all of us here, you are worse when it comes to crime and bad manners. So please, park well. Yes, you are right. I'm better off now with my new way of life. Jesus made the difference. That's why I'm imploring you to give your life to Christ for heaven's sake. With this, you are now children of God and you have obtained forgiveness of sin from the Lord through the blood of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. You need to build a strong and lasting relationship with the Lord through the Word of God. That is, reading and meditating on the Bible day and night. Okay, sir. We are grateful. In addition, you need to start fellowship by attending Bible study, Sunday school, and prayer meetings in order for you to have understanding and deep knowledge of the Word of God. We, oui, sir, we do that, sir. It is very expedient. We'll do it. 
Hey, sir. Can you please give me the church account number? I want to make a transfer for the beautification of the church. Oh, thanks very much, sir. Thank you very much. That is very good. I will give it to you as time goes on. However, I want you to grow more in the Lord and be steadfast in His ways and have more understanding of what to do for the Lord and how to do it in order to give an acceptable service for the Lord. It is acceptable the Lord that will be acceptable. The Lord will accept your offering and your seed in Jesus' name. I hope you understand this. Yes, I understand. It's only that I just want to start spending for God. Sir, if you know how much I've spent on this thing, both Abba and Orthodox, ah, if you know how much I've spent on these things, on drugs and pharmaceuticals, if you know how many doctors I had consulted, hmm. ah, both home and abroad, however, I will aid to your cousin. Thank you so much, sir. Um, I thank God for my husband's healing. Now, we can expect our own children. Oh, God will definitely give it to you. He that has begun a good work in you, we perfect the love of Jesus Christ. You see, God will give you children at the appointed time, and it is now. <laughs> Amen. Madam, I want to salute your courage for holding yourself till this moment. After 13 years, Pastor, this is my wife. She's real and very strong. She stood by me during the trying period. Sir, she went through a lot in my head. Madam, the Lord will compensate you with good and glorious children in the name of Jesus Christ. He will bless you for accepting to marry a man in this condition. Ah. Mm. Pastor. She didn't really marry me in this condition. Now why did not marry me in this condition? It was my lust for other women that caused my impotence. How do you mean? Uh, it's a long story. But I thank God. I thank God we have given our lives to God now. So, I think I can now confess. Ah. Honey, what happened? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Okay, sir. Sorry that I'm running after you. I'm uh, probably in power, really sorry. Uh, and um, what you were discussing with him, it really hit me hard in my room. In fact, I was shivering and I was shaking. And uh, you know, I have to let you know. Call on Daddy Jumbo and Bubu and Shay. Bubu and bypass no. So, and you know to bypass no. My brother, go easy. Ah, along I just go easy for you to go to Jesus. Bami, bami, bami. And you brother, my fear she at the I should do the shirt. Need to read job out. And. Can I be no pay me only attend seeing the last time they were? Molali Jodney. I lay Joe Berry. Tia, when you bought a camoli? Eh? Coda. You know, key a call or buy a wing. Tabiki a wing back transfer, Pada. Kelly Joe might be poor. Can you might be rich, you should be in soon. Coda. Pansha got only money, no job along. Um, my ye, Pada. And um, get my woo. But on tracks, stem for me, pata pata. But be pata, I read all of them, one after the other. And that's the reason why I'm moving in Brelo. What are those things? Things you borrow year after. So that you new pada do your balloon. Tori, I'm going to share a similar idea on Niagara. Something just pressed me down. New only sorrow. New only backba. Me only bitch, me only hit anything. I was just struggling. Suddenly, you must come for the day, you must come for the day, Lord Gigi. My brother, Eruba, me oh, you know, I was so scared, and Ewo, me oh, fake cool. 
So, ebe ruku. Tani obe ruku, my brother. Shen yo be ruku ni. Iku mi o delasiko yi. No, not at all. When it's appointed time, I will die. But not before my time. Never. <laughs> Look at the way you are sounding. Never. <laughs> you could only did it only come when anybody law. No, I insist. You could only call the day could come when anybody law. The Bible says there is time for everything. Time to be born. Time to die. Everything has a fixed time. <laughs> However. In Konkoni Kumanlu, Lati Payoni Kia Kia. Eh? Yes! <laughs> Sorry, what is it? Fear! Yes, fear! Moripe Erukumbai is written all over you. Pay and bear. But, Jesu Nikon, Lule Banyo Lowe Eriku, according to Hebrews chapter 2, verse 15. Fear has pushed so many people onto untimely death. Fear can cripple. Fear can torment. Fear can condemn. It can even turn some people to become slaves. Fear. Yes. Fear. However, how long look on you? Hello, me in Babel Kuloto. Ningba Tia, me on you. To buy on you, one more low. Ni tori na lo ise ke fi aye yin fun Jesu. Ke de si yi pada kuro ni inu ese panshaga ati oju koko. Ke e si ye ma gbe ori sirisi obirin wa sun ti yin o da Olorun o fe be rara. Iwa egbin ati ori ra ni ni waju Olorun. Ko le je ki eniyan ko wo ijoba Olorun ti o ba ku. Mo gbadura e o ni pada nu ijoba o. It was just two weeks after our honeymoon that I met one of my old girl friends. She was not happy hearing that I've got you married. She begged me for a send off union with her, which later occurred. But I never knew that she was trying to take my man with away. For 30 years? Yes, sir. You never said, why are you, are you, are you didn't tell me anything? Oh my God, Pastor, can you see? Eh? Ah, this man, you didn't tell me anything. Oh my God. Ah, ah madam, still. That doesn't warrant you slapping your husband. <laughs> oh, it is not good enough. It is tantamount to disrespect. Pastor, this man is wicked. <laughs> he didn't tell me anything. Eh? I had pondered on it. That how can this happen a month after our wedding? Ah, <laughs> this started failing. It wasn't ordinary. Family has been calling me names. Not knowing that it, it was my husband. Eh? Ah, and he didn't tell me anything. This is sheer wickedness. Ah. <laughs> To get angry anymore. Let all things pass the way. I'm sorry. Give me a break. Give me a break. Hey! So you know that we have just given our life to Christ and that we are not supposed to get angry. <laughs> and yet you went ahead and slapped me. You slapped me. Oh, why don't you also allow all things to pass away? Pastor has spoken to us and I begged you again and again. Why are you doing this?
even Jesus in your life for the life of every day. At the point of death, angels will carry you. Hello, brother Ladi. Yes, sir. Oh, good evening, my brother. How are you? Lord bless you, sir. Amen, sir. I thought I've appealed to you and I've resolved the issue between you and your wife in my office this evening. Why are you still angry with your wife? Why didn't you eat the food she prepared for you? Oh, Mr. Ladi, you don't need this. You are a man. Put yourself together and play maturity. I'm begging you in the name of the Lord, go to that dining now. Eat the food she has prepared for you. Are you getting me? Then go to that bedroom and meet with your wife. Brother Lad, never sleep with anger in your mind before you go to bed. It is not good. Can you just see a simple test from God to you? If you had sown the offering you wanted to sow the other time, it would have amounted to nothing because God will not have accepted such. Being angry with your wife makes you guilty before the Almighty God. Now, I want to go and play like a matured man. Go to that dining table. Eat the food she has prepared, then go to the bedroom with your wife. Lord will be with you. Amen, sir. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Amen, sir. God of all flesh, O Nishegula, Alagbaraula, all things are possible for you. Just pray and believe, O Nishegula. possible for you, God of all flesh, only Shemula, Allah, all things are possible for you, just pray and believe, only Shemula. All things are possible for you. God of all flesh, O Nishemula, Allah, all things are possible for you. Just pray and believe. You don't need it anymore? Yes! See? If you carry out a series of tests on me, you will find nothing negative. I've got this report. <laughs> Whose report is that? Ah! The report of whom is higher than the highest. Mm. The greatest physician mm. is the Lord God of all flesh, in whom there is no impossibility. He has healed me of all disease. <laughs> I'm talking of the Almighty God. <laughs> hey. Mr. Rikuyeri. Yes. I must tell you, yes. many have claimed such in the past. Hmm. But worst is usually their case at the end. <laughs> My own case is totally different. See, I heard from him. I read his report. He has healed me of all infirmities. Doctor, mm -hmm. let me teach you a song. Okay. I am the Lord that healed you. 
I am the Lord, your healer. I send my word, I heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. See, I am totally healed. He has totally healed me. <laughs> I have faith in him who sent his report, healed me of my diabetic disease and his destructions. <laughs> ah. Mr. Nariku Yeri. Yes, doctor. See the way I'm smiling at you. <laughs> doctor. Yeah? Smile with me. Mm -hmm. Rejoice with me. Wow. Because the Lord has healed me. <laughs> I am totally healed. <laughs> totally healed. This is very superficial though. Oh. Very, very unbelievable. Hmm. It is incredible. My doctor, call it by whatever name you like. <laughs> the fact remains that I am totally healed. <laughs> I am healed. Mr. Arikuyeri? Yes, doctor. I have heard you. Okay. But I will say, let's still run some text on you. To validate this, your <sighs> claim. <laughs> you want to validate the report of the Most High. <laughs> it will never happen. It's a dream that will never come to pass. Mm. Thank you, doctor. Mr. I will see you some other time. Mr. Arikuyeri? I'll see you some other time. Mr. Arikuyeri? Let's still run some text on you. Sir, I still don't understand the prerequisites in making heaven. And I've been ruminating on this ever since we had the talk. You see, judging by moral ethics, my husband was the perfect example and he was the best person i've ever met he is generous to a fault kind patient and easygoing person and he was a perfect example of a man like jesus madam yes you are right it may be all of this and add these virtues in it but it doesn't matter and make him a perfect example of what a child of God should be or is expected to be. Because he lacks one thing, which is Christ in him. If you have studied your Bible very well, Madam, you would have read about a man named Cornelius. He was very pious, he served God, and always disabled to the needs of people, yet he had no salvation. Until God, in his own mercy, arranged salvation for him. And that's how he was saved. If it had not been like that, Cornelius would have not was gone to heaven. So, salvation is very paramount in having eternal life. Sir. Thank God you are saved now. And your daughter is saved. Reach to the other members of the family and preach salvation through Jesus Christ unto them. Forget about your husband. He's gone. Let the living have a rethink and follow the way. Who is the Lord Jesus Christ? Lord bless you, man. Thank you. The last time I went to her house, she accused me of being cowardly. Lord, was I really coward? Only you can determine the destination of any man on earth after that. Although the word of God told us that except when born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Lord, you know all things. We are not judging anyone. Let your mercy take us to your kingdom. In the end, in Jesus' name. Amen. Your wife said you are a perfect as of a godly person. Are you truly one? You and her know that it is a planted lie. That is just one of the numerous lies we hear about people like you 
who are saying to be blameless and upright. But, but, but uh, uh, only the real ones. How many times you need to go against God's will before you get punished? We've waited tirelessly for you to commit just a single mistake that will damn you for eternity. But alas, our patience was handsomely rewarded and here we are. Oh, but I was filled with remorse immediately after the act and I, I begged God for forgiveness. You were remorseful after the act? Did you, did you tell your wife about it? No, I didn't. That is exactly where you miss it. We took advantage of that. You committed adultery and you didn't deem it fit to confess to your partner. And she sees you as a perfect husband and human being anyone she emulates. Uh, uh, what, what, if I confess to her, a lot of things will be spoiled. Uh, uh, you know she's stubborn like every other woman outside there. I, I can't confess to her. You should have allowed your wife's stubbornness to bring her here too. Unfortunately, you are here because you fear the aftermath from your wife. No remedy again. There is still a great number of people in the body of Christ who are unfaithful to their spouses and see it unnecessary to confess their unfaithfulness to them or entangle with the fear of the aftermath. These acts will surely be their downfall as it will lead them to perdition. And we will be here rejoicing and celebrating that. Let marriage be held honorable among all. And let the bed be on the fire. For God will join the sexually immoral and adulterous. Hebrew 13.4 Taking you to your destination. Here is your destination. But the bike will eat us together. Let me follow them. You can't follow them because you did not eat your soul to the Son of Righteousness. When you were told to give your life to Christ, you refuse it. So here is your destination. Ah! Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, the solid ground, firm through the fairest trot and storm. What height of love, what depth of peace, when fear is stilled, when striving ceased, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ, I stand. 
no guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From life for scratch to find a breath, Jesus command my destiny. No power of hell, no schemes of man can ever pluck me from his arms till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ. I stand. Hey, welcome. Hey, welcome. Angelic welcome, I pray. When the journey is over, then my trophy I lay down. Glorious welcome, I pray. Daddy. You have guests. Guests? Yes, sir. Who are they? I don't know. They taught me a song. A song? Yes. Okay. When I get to heaven, mm -hmm. I know whom I will see. I will see my master Jesus and sing hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, amen. amen. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, amen. When I get to heaven, I know whom I will see. I will see my darling Jesus and sing hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, 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 amen. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, amen. Please remind me when the guests are gone. All right, sir. Thank you. We come to what you say, Lord. In your power, I echo you, go lay, I hear you. Who are these people? They have come to welcome you to meet with your master. The master? Yes, the master. Why? Isaiah 57 verse 1. Isaiah 57 verse 1? Yes. It says, The righteous perish, and no man let it to heart. And merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. And is that the reason why you have come with these horses and host? Yes, that is why I have come with horses and host. You have worked for it. Everyone that wins souls while on earth deserves it. Everyone that loves the master and his kingdom deserves it. So let's go. Ah. Me? Hey, people, are you ready to? The master said they should bring me. I, I of all people, please, let's all be prepared. The master can come calling for us anytime. Let's always be ready. Let's be ready. Let's be ready. That was 
all I saw in my dream. Immediately I wake up to check in and tell him about this wonderful experience. He old. He has gone. He has gone. No. He has gone. No. Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, and worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, and worship His holy name. Almighty Father, thank you. Abba Father, thank you. <laughs> we are comforted because of your son, Pastor Ononlele Ononlele. Thank you, Jesus. It's like I told you before, Ma. The Lord Himself has comforted you by this revelation. You don't need to cry again. Wipe your tears and keep mm. praising God. Mm. Elijah was taken away in the chariot of fire. Enoch. Enoch walked with God and he was no more by divine healing. What of Lazarus? Lazarus was carried by the angels to the bosom of Abraham. All believers that will be raptured will be caught up with a great sound of trumpet from the four corners of the world to meet with the Lord in the sky. Now, brothers and sisters, people all over the world, there will surely be a day that we will all depart this world. The question is, how will you depart this sinful world? How will you go? Who will welcome you? I pray that we all receive a celebrated, glorious and angelic welcome on the day it is over. Amen. <laughs> that epitomizes a good way to go with a processional welcome. That's it. <sighs> Jesus, thank you. The welcome, the welcome, the welcome, the journey begins here. The welcome, the welcome, the welcome, the journey begins here. Having Jesus in your life, for the life to every day. At the point of death, angels will carry you.
Ibi kan tu wa to jaye la 